Folks, we have some serious issues here. Started the pickup up this morning to let it warm up and um, it just quit. Hit the key again, no problem. All the power in the world. Um, let it warm up, went up, grabbed a trailer, um, helping a, a, some dear friends of ours, some older people with some trees, um, great, great people, and did it again when I was backing up. So I'm thinking, what in the world? I just I just went through this pickup. And uh, long story short, driving down the road, came down a hill to a stop sign, just quit us. Got on the high on the the blacktop, driving down the road, just quit us. Come to another stop sign, it quit us again it, on the highway. Came to a, a stoplight, it just quit us. And then it quit us in town. I'm thinking, oh boy. That is nothing more than an electronic module, which is very, very common for these to go out. So come with me today and I'll show you what to do. We are gonna fix this. This is about a three minute fix. You always usually keep one behind your seat. Um, got a used one behind my seat. Um, just picked up a brand new one though. We're gonna get it fixed. We're working on a 79 Ford pickup right now and pretty much all of them have what they call an ignition module. It should have three quarter inch little screws, like so. Now, remember, you wanna make sure that this is grounding good against the side of the pickup as well. Go ahead, pop this off. We're going to put a little bit of um, grease in there. I'll show you a little later on what we're going to do there. And just unhook it. Let's see here. Grab the trusty Leatherman's here. See if I can stab myself on film. Ooh, that wasn't held on by much. There we go. Both of them broke right off. And pop it off. Old module. Now, what I do is I'm going to go ahead and put the date on it. Go ahead and put the date on it, and uh, I guess that's just more of a nerdy thing to do, but it shows upkeep on your vehicle. I just go ahead and use a paint marker. I have white ones, yellow ones, everything I can. Um, just keep a paint marker around. Let's go ahead and restall. Anytime you're working with cast, don't over tighten. One, you'll strip out the side and you'll get a bad ground. And two, you can break that cast off. And good. Now there's nothing worse than not finding your, your stuff. So what I like to do is put all of my stuff in an expensive high dollar tray like you see here. I mean, that's, that's pretty heavy duty. <laughs> and what am I looking for? Electric tune-up grease. Fill up your... And this is just gonna make it so you have a great connection. And they make these foolproof so that you cannot mess them up. Secure. Secure. Now, we aren't going to throw the box away because I am going to go out to the to the bone pile where I keep my old pickups and tractors and whatever that doesn't actually work anymore. And we are going to get a good part, put it back in the box, put it behind the seat so I have a used one so if it ever goes out, I can make it home. Bonsai. You're probably thinking to yourself, what kind of high dollar light is he using? Well, let me show you. Why are high dollar light works really good? Now, what do we do with an old piece of iron like this? Well, let me show you. 
I put it in the wheelbarrow, which eventually will all go into five gallon buckets. And that will go into one of the old parts cars that I don't use any longer. So it'll all be sold for scrap iron, which is really low but if you store it in an old car and then haul the car into town you can sell it for a higher dollar otherwise they're going to give you tin price for stuff like this and it's just not worth it but when they crush that car down that car is going to weigh maybe an extra thousand to maybe an extra ton and you will get car price they have no problem doing that and it's just a awesome awesome way of homestead ranch farming, recycling. And you are gonna have a lot of old metal parts laying around, oil filters, you name it. I'll do another video on that, hang around for it, and uh, I'll show you kind of what we what we have in mind. Take your high dollar container, I'm telling you, keep it organized. Always make sure to put it away. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hitting the thumbs up button seriously does help us. Leave comments below, we'll all learn from each other. Until next time, folks, may the Lord guide and keep you. Happy trails. This is Luke Simons. See you next time.